Hi, my name's Allison DeMarco, and I have been homeschooling my children for 17 years. And I know that there's so many moms out there that find themselves homeschooling their children for the very first time this week. And I just thought I would offer up a few tips. And first, just a little bit about me, and I'll make it brief. But I have two children. My son is 14. He's a competitive cyclist here in South Florida. And um, my daughter is uh, in college. She is in her first year at the Juilliard School in New York City, and her instrument is pipe organ. And so for all these 17 years, um, we have um, enjoyed our time at home immensely. And I'll tell you some of the great advantages that, um, that there are to homeschooling. Number one is that, um, and you may not think this right now, but number one is you get to be around your children. And you know, it's not easy at first. It's just not. And it's not always easy. And every day it is, there are, there are different trials. But overall, it's just wonderful to be there with your kids and to get to know them, to watch them as they learn new things and to see them get excited when they learn to read or when they learn to do something new. And the other, um, thing is is that I really love the freedom that you have in homeschooling and that you have time for your kids to focus in on things that they're good at um, you know my my daughter is good in music we had time to focus in on it we had time to spend with that and um, over the years my son uh, with the cycling he's on uh, a couple of teams here in South Florida and if it weren't for homeschooling, he would not have near the time to um, to ride and to practice uh, for what he does. So it offers you a really great opportunity to find the strengths that your children have and to make, uh, make time for that. But anyway, enough about me. <laughs> I'd like to get into just a little bit more about what you can do as you are... Um, finding yourself in this position for the very first time. And as I said, it's not always easy, it's not perfect, it, but it's a great opportunity and the benefits far outweigh those trying days. Um, you know, one of the things I found is that your, your kids are probably, I, I think they all go through this stage of, of not wanting to, um, to be taught by mom, basically. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we just, we just default as we always do to, uh, biblical principles. And that, in, in, you know, that God tells us that, you know, we're supposed to respect and honor our parents. And that's the first commandment with a promise that he will give us long lives and long days that if we do this. Now, I'm going to make another video, um, in just a second. And I hope you'll watch that one. It's an umbrella illustration, which talks about obedience and why it's important. Because I really think that it's very, important that we don't just tell our kids and give them lots of rules and say you have to do this and you have to do that and you have to do all these things but that we explain to them why and that we help them to lead them to make their own decisions to be um to be independent thinkers and to say okay well why is it not okay for me to do this it's okay for them to ask why and they do ask why <laughs> so um i found that as long as my kids understand um why things are right and why things are wrong um, and the ramifications that come from it, that uh, we end up in a much better place than if I set out a whole list of rules and say, this is what you're going to do. Um, Sometimes we've done that, but, <laughs> you know, overall, I find that it's much better if they understand why. And of course, they need to be a little older before they can have that kind of understanding. But anyway, um, I hope uh, I'm going to make a few videos for you that are going to focus in mainly on music. Now, as, uh, as a musician, I find that this is going to be a wonderful time um, for you to focus on practicing. And, uh, you know, then, and uh, I'm going to have a video on the art of practice and even the college audition process so that you can start uh, with your older students, getting them ready for the scholarships uh, that will be available to them. By the way, even if you're not a music major, there's scholarship money available for you too as well. And we'll talk about that. So anyway, I hope uh, that this introduction um, 
will encourage you. And um, please check back so that uh, we'll make videos more specific to certain ages of kids. Thank you.